So awesome. First things first, what do you need to be a jewellery designer? Well, you don't really need much. You don't even need to be particularly good at drawing. As long as you have, let's say, some paper. We've used some printer paper. We actually have some square paper, which I use in the shop, but maybe you could use some graph paper or well, square paper. Even draw some squares onto your paper. That's a really good idea. It's good to have a pencil. Um, Heidi and I, maybe. a rubber's really useful. <laughs> yes. Um, so that and works out first time. I actually, when I'm with customers, use a biro an awful lot because if I do something wrong, I'm doing lots of quick sketches, I just do another one. But when you're doing really technical drawings, it's nice to use a pencil like this. Fine points, so you need to do details. Or a sharp one, use a sharpener. Yeah. We've also got some really cool um, metallic pencils, but I know you probably don't have those. So you can use just normal colouring pencils. And this colour is great for doing silver. Yellow is or orange is good for doing gold. And rose gold, you can mix them too. So we'll get onto that when we're talking about colours. And by the way, one of these is the prizes for all of the categories in our children's design competition. You get a beautiful set of um, Stedler. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, yeah Stedler. Um, I should know. My mum's German. Colouring pencils. They're my absolute favourite. Um, if you're really getting into things and want to do things really neat and tidily, having a stencil is useful. As different measurements. Especially for circles. But what else can you use for drawing circles? compass a compass or just freehand it really doesn't matter I don't want you to feel like you have to have special kit to do this um, and I just thought that was quite interesting that's the design I did that's the drawing and that's the ring um, and here's some other drawings I've done which were just totally freehand for um, our NHS angel collection which I'll talk probably more about as we go along and it's good if you're like stuck on ideas to go online and just look up pictures of jewelry exactly so having access to the internet really helps for jewelry inspiration looking at magazines and also looking at what people are wearing cool 